Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the kinetics of polyesterification for catalyzed reactions. In the last video, we talked about uncatalyzed reactions. So here's the experimentally determined rate law. If you look at it closely, you'll notice the only difference is the A is not squared. We have a different um, rate constant. Okay, so A is the concentration of acid groups. So <clears throat> here we go, the rate is dependent, or the rate is, we're measuring it by the decrease in the acid concentration as a function of time, times the rate constant K prime, times the concentration of acid groups, times the concentration of alcohol groups. Again, this is experimentally determined. K prime, um, is equal to the second order rate constant times the acid catalyst concentration. And the acid catalyst concentration doesn't change with time, so we can fold it in to, the, to make uh, that rate constant, okay? Now, we have the same key step as we did for the uncatalyzed reaction. Hopefully you remember what that is. So I cannot solve this equation because both the acid concentration and the alcohol concentration change with time. So I can't separate the variables and integrate unless I remember to do the key step, which is I have to set the concentration of the acid groups equal to the concentration of the alcohol groups. That simplifies this equation down to minus dc dt equals the rate constant times c squared. And that's an equation we can readily solve. We can separate the variables and integrate. And you should do this, separate the variables and integrate. If you do that and then plug in for C equals one over one minus P, you get equation 419, okay? So we've got the initial concentration times the rate constant times time, so that is M X, one over one minus P is our Y, minus one is the B, right? So if we now, if we plot, time versus one over one minus P, we should get a straight line with a slope of C naught K uh, uh, and an intercept of one. And again, just like the last time with the catalyzed polymerization, it works really well, except for a very low um, short times. And that's because our assumption that reactivity is independent of chain length is great, it's excellent, except for with monomers and dimers, and so we see that more down here. So this is um, a plot of one minus, oh, one over one minus P, and that is for, um, for our catalyzed reaction. And then just to remind you, here's a plot, uh-oh, a, a plot, of one over one minus P squared for the uncatalyzed reaction. So I'm trying to get both of those on the screen. So they both, uh, um, our assumptions are really good. We've got really good fits to exp actual experimental data and it looks really good. Okay. So again, please go ahead and do this. Um, it will it will help you help you and it'll be worth your while. Earlier in the semester, I just want to show you page seven um, here. Earlier in the semester, we derived the number average degree of polymerization, what that is for for step growth polymers, and um, and we can quickly redo that derivation because our number average degree of polymerization is our total number of monomers um, that we started with by the number of chains we ended up with. And if we divide both of that by volume, we've now got it as our initial concentration of 
of acids or alcohols divided by our final concentration of acids or alcohols. And if we plug in um, for concentration, which concentration just equals C naught times 1 over 1 minus P, C naught cancels, we've got 1 over 1 minus P. It's a very straightforward derivation. We haven't, we haven't derived and won't derive what the weight average uh, degree of polymerization is. That's done in chapter five. Um, and we're not covering that this semester. But if we put, um, we can also get our um, polydispersity index, right? Which is the weight average uh, degree of polymerization divided by the number average degree of polymerization. If you do that out, it's just one plus P. And hopefully you remember some of this from before the first exam. Okay, thanks for your attention. And um, our next video will be on chain growth um, kinetics for free radical polymerizations. Okay.